from Castillo. Oh, I wonder if she's mad about the necklace. How could she be? That just happened. You're right. Then what could it be about? Dear Morona, how are you? I've been depressed lately. The doctors raised the price of my medicine for some reason. Now my parents both have to work all day from early in the morning to late at night. I hate how much trouble I'm causing for my family. Why can't I be healthy? They work so hard for me and I can't do anything to thank them if I didn't exist. I'm sorry, Morona. I didn't mean for this letter to be so sad. Thank you for listening, though. Good luck with your jobs, Castillo. Castillo! Poor girl. She sounds depressed. How much do you think the medicine costs? It's probably expensive, huh? Probably, but buying Castile's medicine wouldn't make her happy. You know she'd blame herself for causing trouble and just get more depressed. You're right. This is terrible. Castile's depressed, and my necklace is gone. I know! What? Let's take Putty to visit Castile. Castile can watch Putty so that he doesn't run off when we're away from home. It's also a good opportunity to tell her about the necklace. Besides, I think Castile should have someone to keep her company so she doesn't feel alone. Hmm, I see. You're probably right. Okay then, let's go to the Isle of Healing Waters. You came to visit? Yep. Nobody answered the door, so we let ourselves in. I hope that's okay. Oh, it's fine. Mom and Dad are at work on another island. I've caused so much trouble. That isn't true. Your parents love you, and they're willing to work hard for you. You aren't any trouble at all. But I am. It's my fault that Faded left home, too. Faded? Yes, my brother. He left a long time ago, so I don't remember him very well. Your brother? Oh, you brought a cute little friend. This is Putty. Actually... Morona confessed honestly, admitting she had lost the necklace. I am so sorry. Hmm, I wonder what Putty did with the necklace. You aren't mad? Why? It wasn't your fault. Besides, I don't think Putty meant any harm. He'll probably return it after he's done playing with it. Whew! I was worried you wouldn't want to be my friend anymore. Oh, Morona. Castile, I have a favor to ask. Oh? What is it? 
Can you look after Putty for me? I'm afraid he'll run away while we're gone. Oh, sure. It's been really lonely here, so I'm sure it'll be fine. Thanks, Castillo. I'm just glad there's something I can do. It feels good to help. You're more than helping. You're totally saving us. Right, Ash? That's right. Putty can't handle Morona's cooking for much longer. <laughs> Uh-oh. What? You're mean, Ash. My cooking's not that bad. Really? Who started a fire trying to make pasta then? For a long trip, we're going to Mount Kazan in the Vermilion region. Mount Kazan, huh? I wonder what it's like there. Mount Kazan is a volcano, so it must be pretty hot there. The client's name is Cauldron. Haven't we heard that name before? We'll find out. Let's go! Maronikins! Thank you for coming. Maronikins? You are at Siena's. That's right. I'm Cauldron. Sorry about the other day. I hope you'll forgive me. I'll admit, I underestimated you. You really did school my ravens back on the island of evil. I can just imagine. One little girl beating down all the fighting beasts. I'll bet it was awesome. Thank you, <laughs> I guess. So, is that evil phantom guy here with you? Ash is not evil. Cool! He's the real deal! That freaks me out. <laughs> you look rather calm. I can't let stuff like that bother me, or I'd never survive in this business. You can't judge others. I don't care if someone's possessed, a phantom, or even a scrabbit, as long as he does his job. How nice of you not to discriminate. So, what do you need us to do, Mr. Cauldron? Oh, right, right. I almost forgot about that. Well, I've got a problem. I own this island. But some whack job showed up, saying it belongs to nature! According to my men, he's going on about the rights of rare monsters and habitation or something. The rights of rare monsters? That sounds familiar. Why don't you hire ravens to take care of it? Ravens are too expensive. And messy. Besides, I wanted to see you, Marona Kittens. Oh, um... <clears throat> He's just teasing you. <laughs> oh, you are too cute, Marona Kittens. 
Anyway, that guy's around somewhere. Track him down and get rid of him for me, ASAP. You guys never give up, do you? I told you, as long as I breathe, I will protect monsters in need! Oh, never mind. <laughs> I didn't realize it was Miss Morona, honorary member of Human Activists for Rare Monsters. <laughs> well, I never joined, but I thought I'd find you here. What brings you to Mount Kazan? Are you here to support my protest against these harsh living conditions? No, actually, I'm here to stop your protest. What? You'd betray the sacred oaths you swore when you first joined the Human Activists for Rare Monsters? You keep saying I'm a member, but... <gasps> they got to you with their money! That's why Chromas can't be trusted! You're all slaves to the almighty Bordeaux! Since it's come to this, I'll have to fight you with the very monsters you wish to destroy! For someone who wants to protect monsters, you sure don't treat them with much respect. So, hiding behind phantoms is your game, is it? Kazan monsters, I choose you! Stop! I don't want to fight! Listen to her. If this man leaves the island, you can go back to your normal lives. What? Are you implying that I'm the one disrupting this serene natural habitat? Yes. How dare you! I'm President Canary of the Human Activists for Rare Monsters! I will protect...
My turn! My turn! See ya! My turn! If you can't drive them away, you're going to lose your environment! Why are you looking at me like that? What are you... I'm doing this for you guys! <laughs> <laughs> 